Welcome back to Zoom In. Now we continue today at the United Nations. United States and other countries are gathering to pledge funding for the dedicated UN Agency for Palestinians, UNRWA, which we've talked about in depth here before on this show, but based on a just emerging report by the organization United Nations Watch. Over 120 UNRWA educators and staff have been found to promote violence and anti-Semitism on social media. UN Watch submitted the report today to the EU Foreign Affairs Commissioner and the U.S. Ambassador to the UN, whose governments are among the top funders of UNRWA, important to mention there. But we're now joined from our Jerusalem studio by Hillel Neuer, the Executive Director for United Nations Watch. Hillel, thanks for being with us here. I just in preparing to talk to you today, drew up about 30 minutes worth of talking points. I know you're, you're involved in a lot of issues that affect us greatly here, but explain just these latest findings that you're, that you're exposing today. Well, look, uh, thank you for having me. Today in New York City at the United Nations, Secretary General Guterres will be headlining a pledging conference for UNRWA, where, as you mentioned, the United States, the European Union, Germany, and other countries will, will be pledging hundreds of millions of dollars. The United States gives about $400 million a year to UNRWA. Germany gives about $170 million a year to UNRWA. The EU is giving about $140 million, the UK $40 million. So we're talking about tens of millions, in some cases, hundreds of millions of dollars going to an agency that today we report systematically employs teachers, school principals, other employees who incite the murder of Jews. We are uh, mentioning, we are exposing uh, Facebook posts that show how UNRWA teachers in Lebanon and the West Bank in Jordan literally call for the murder of, quote, filthy Zionists, slaughter them all, uh, not one should be left over, wow. and they are teaching students. So the question is, why are democracies paying the United Nations yeah. to employ teachers who, till, who teach their students to murder Jews? It's a huge question. And on that note, I know you're pushing for this. Do you, I mean, it's an establishment now, UNRWA, at the UN here. What do you give it the chances for change? Are your findings being you know, listened to, essentially? Well, we, we know that when donor states demand uh, change, they can accomplish something. Last year, when the United States announced that they renewed funding, we issued a similar report with similar findings of other teachers, and UNRWA was feeling a lot of pressure. They announced investigations. They quietly announced some suspensions, but it's not enough. Right. It's a slap on the wrist. They're not showing that they're serious. We want to see teachers of anti-Semitism, who, teachers who call to murder Jews, they need to be fired. UNRWA needs to condemn them. UNRWA needs to make this public, needs to name who, who, who they are, and we need to see an independent, impartial investigation into what is the systematic employment of teachers who incite to terrorism and anti-Semitism being employed by the United Nations, and we are paying for it. Just one of the major issues, I'd argue, with UNRWA here. You're at the UN a lot, clearly, for years. Where do you see the worst anti-Israel uh, obsession bias? Is it the Security Council with their standing issue of Israel each month? Or, or where are you encountering this the most? Well, I, I think UNRWA is probably the number one agency because you have 30,000 staff. It's an enormous amount of staff uh, at an agency that is basically dedicated to undoing the 1948 creation of Israel. That's You, you could say that's their yeah. Raison d'etre. Sums it up. Uh, so after UNRWA, the Human Rights Council in Geneva, where our organization is based, where I'm based, that is an organization that has now launched a permanent commission of inquiry to target Israel. The head of the inquiry is Navi Pillay. She is on record two years ago petitioning countries to, quote, sanction apartheid Israel. They made her the head the supposed head of an impartial investigation. It's absolutely absurd. It's against the UN's own rules. So the Human Rights Council is definitely up there. More of the same. I, I know from uh, following your reports and your exposés throughout the years here. Uh, in, in short, and I want to ask this broadly, but what do you think is your greatest success uh, in, in all your efforts here, I believe about a decade, fighting, fighting against this stuff in the UN? Well, uh, you know, diplomatically, uh, recently there was the Durban Four Conference in September. We led the calls for democracies to stand down. 38 countries, including all the major democracies, Germany, the United States, the UK, France, pulled out. That's a major accomplishment. The United Kingdom has now changed their votes at the Human Rights Council under the agenda item targeting Israel. They vote no. So these are important accomplishments that yes. we've played a role in. Uh, just to name a few, and obviously on social media, 
bringing the son of Hamas to testify at the United Nations yeah. and having that reach 5 to 10 million views yeah, on powerful. social media. Yeah. So the world is slowly beginning to know the truth.